Hey future middle level teachers, welcome to week 15 of MLED 480. You should be wrapping up your unit and using the group developed rubric to self-assess your unit. The Dropbox will be open until um, December 9th at 1159 p.m. so you can get it submitted. In the meantime, however, you still have an assignment for this week. Part one of the assignment is to read chapter seven, eight, and nine in Managing the Madness. It's pages 90 through 124. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, for the discussion, you are going to need to um, write one thought-provoking question per chapter to share with your group. So three chapters, you should write three questions. And then write out your answer to the question, but don't share it at this time. So just have it back somewhere so you'll be able to resort to it and refer to it later on. Then what you're going to do is once your group mates have shared their answers to your questions, then I want you to respond to them with the answer you initially wrote and a reflection of your answer and their answer. What were the similarities and what were the differences? So in a sense, it's the same. You're still going to, you're going to be putting up your questions, your three questions, and you're still going to be responding to two people. However, it's just a little bit more involved then. And then your response to your classmates' initial post, again, respond to at least two of them. And as always, it's best to have two different classmates, and you can respond to um, one question from two classmates or more if you'd like. That's fine. Then, in part two, I'm going to have you go back to the Annenberg video series. This one's going to be Teaching Math, a video library, grades five through eight, and there are four different videos that you can choose from. You only have to choose one to watch it. But once you've watched it, I want you to think about the following questions. How does the teacher connect other content areas or make real world connections for his or her students? And how does this work to engage students? How do you know that students are engaged from what you're seeing there? What types of problem solving, collaboration, and critical thinking are students engaged in? And then, how can you accomplish this in your content area? And then, lastly, we're going to go back to part, or for part three, we're going to go back to chapter one in Managing the Madness, which was Engage Them. And then I'm going to ask you to go to the Middle Level Leadership Center, which the URL is on the content page for week 15. And once you're there, what you'll go to is instructional practices inventory. And then after you've done that, you're going to select, go to selected documents. When you do this, you'll get a list of documents. The one that I want you to look at is the IPI observation rubric. This is again designed specifically for middle level classrooms. And once you've done that, you will see an instructional practices inventory. And this is just the top part of it. You'll see the rest when you go to the website. But just to give you an idea, it's all about engagement. Going back then to what the discussion questions for this week entail. You're going to post your three questions that you created for chapter 7, 8, and 9. I crossed out the with answers because you don't want to put the answers up to your questions. All right. Then respond to the question from two group mates, giving them feedback on their question and answer, plus then adding your own thoughts and ideas. So you'll have to go back and respond to the people that responded to your questions. Then go back to chapter one, rule one, engage them. And then add to that the IPI observation rubric information and the video that you watched in the math classroom. And then answer this question. 
How does engaging students play a role in classroom management? Thanks everyone, and if you have any questions about this week's assignment or your unit project, please post them to the discussion board. Have a good week.